Hi, I have a problem. I still live at my parents' house, which is great and I even have my own room. But nobody in this house actually realizes that it is my room and they always enter and take things and leave the door open. And I'm tired of it, so I've tried locking a door and I've tried telling them. But since everyone has the same lock in this house, that doesn't work and telling them, I mean, that failed years ago. So I was out of ideas. But recently I played the portal game and I saw these sentry turrets and they were actually made to protect rooms. And I thought it would be really cool to have my own sentry turret to protect my room. So today I will try and build one. And at first I wanted to do something with facial recognition so it wouldn't shoot at me. But then I look into it and I realized that I'm retarded and I have no idea how to do any of that. So I will stay true to the spirit of the portal turrets and shoot anything that moves. I'm really bad at programming, so basic arena stuff is the best I can do. And with those limits I had to keep it very simple. My solution was to add a motion detector which activates the turret if anything moves and the ultrasonic range fender will detect anything that is within a set distance. So I did a little modeling and that's what I came up with. Here you can see the motion sensor if it detects anything moving, the stepper motor here starts turning and the distance sensor here scans the room. If it sees anything within the set distance it will know the position of that object and I can target it. I soldered it all together and here you can see it completely assembled. Here you can see the Arduino which drives the stepper motor driver which drives the stepper motor which drives the turny thingy with the distance sensor attached. Um, the motion sensor senses motion obviously and the limit switch uh, switches limits. I have plugged everything in now so it's time for a test. I will place this lighter in front of the sensor and we will see how the machine reacts. So as you can see it obviously detected the lighter, let's try it another time. Yeah, works good. So the only thing left to do is now add some sort of gun on top and then my turret is done. For the gun part I just bought a cheap airsoft gearbox and added a 3D printed hopper to it and in front a barrel. So I've plugged everything in now and I'll try it out now. Yeah, um, I think I need some sort of lid. Now it's time for a few little tests to see if the turret works. So I plugged everything in now and well I'll just test if it works. The real problem is that it looks like a turret so everyone will avoid it. But I really wanted to shoot people so I'll have to somehow disguise it as something else. Yeah that's good enough but something is missing. Perfect, now it looks friendly and no one will be afraid. This is the code, I don't even know what's happening here, I just copied and pasted shit from the internet, but it works. Now I will set the range of the turret from about 20 centimeters to 2 meters and it should be ready. So that's the turret, it is already activated, um, so if I step in this room now it will shoot at me. I have not activated the gun yet because, well, I don't want to shoot myself. Um, because there was here and here I had to restrict the angle of the sensors a little bit, 
but otherwise it still works. Or it should work at least, so I'll try it now. Yeah, perfect. Great, so now I just have to activate the gun and wait till the next person wants to steal something from me. Now I've activated the gun. At, fir at first I didn't want to activate the gun, but you know, it isn't that strong and it's more scary than it hurts, so let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely works. <laughs> yeah, the next one who wants to steal something from me will be surprised. I just noticed something. How do I turn it off again without getting shot at? <laughs>